Welcome back to Lost in the Curve. This time it's the X-Wing shelving unit using the slot system. Let's get right to it. What I've done is worked off of a one foot square, making these diagonals 17 inches, and added some extensions here on the bottom sections. These are approximately seven inches, and it'll be nine inches in depth. Using a three quarter inch plywood, and let's get cutting. two 17 inch sections cut. My next step will be to find the center and then mark a three quarter inch slot on each one going halfway across the width of this. It won't hurt to spend a couple of seconds uh, orienting your boards because you want the pretty side showing. So I just kind of did a very rough estimate of how I want these. And then I put a mark on the back side, letting me know this is where I want the slot. Alright, so here's how that ended up looking on the board after my measurements and marking this out with a pencil. Halfway down the board in this orientation, halfway across in this orientation, and then three-eighths this way, three-eighths that way, give you three-quarter inch waist right here for the slot. And I'm going to cut this out with a jigsaw router would probably do even a neater job of it so I'm gonna get cutting Well, here's an example of what happens is if you cut these slots too narrow, which it's better to do that than too wide, is you get a really tight fit. So what I'll do is back these out. I've been hitting it with some sandpaper, and I'll just keep doing that. This is 100 grit until it gets to be a little smoother. A little tight is okay, but too much, and you're going to end up splinter in the wood. So I'm going to back this out and do some more sanding. All right, well after a little bit more sanding and a couple of jigsaw passes, finally got these two guys to meet up. They didn't want to be friends there for a while, but I think everything's good now. So the next step is going to be to repeat the process on both of these bottom pieces and get these smaller shelves slotted in. For the bottom shelves, I'm going to measure up two and seven eighths and then three quarter inch total so three eighths on each side square this up we've got both sides marked and I've also given myself some clues as to what's up and what's the front and what's the back. I'm putting both of these slots in the back so the shelves will come in from the back this way. Okay, wanted to give you an update on the progress so far. I've got the slots cut, the back slots cut for the bottom shelves and on this main unit. And what I've done is come up two and a half inches from the bottom and then cut the three quarter inch slot and of course it comes halfway which is four and a half inches. And here's a blank for one of my bottom shelves. Not sure if you'll be able to see my pencil lines but what I've done is come up one and a half inches from the bottom, three quarter inch for the slot and then five inches for the actual shelving. So 
This is a slight modification from the original plan, which I had them meeting at the same level, so it, they would all be on the same surface. What I've decided that that's just going to be more trouble in getting all that evened up. So what I've done is left these short, and they'll kind of just be hanging there. And it's still going to be plenty stable enough. Uh, these main units can hold a lot of weight, and I'll be showing you that later. But, so that's the progress so far, and uh, I need to cut these bottom shelves out, cut the slots, and then uh, I'll show you how it's all fitting together. Stay tuned. As you can see, i got the bottom shelves put in. Relatively easy, easier than this main joint here for some reason. But uh, one of the objectives is to make this a, a knockdown piece. And what I still need to do is figure out what I'm going to do with this center section. Got a couple of ideas, but I'm still working on that. One decision I have made is to round over these edges and just to give it a little uh, softer look, I guess you'd say. So stay tuned. sanding. The bottom side I'm just going to 100 grit. The face side doing 100, 150, and then 220. Okay, lest I forget, what are we going to do or what am I going to do with this bottom section? I've decided to put a drawer in, so this will be interesting. Stay with me. All right, here's the update on the drawer. <clears throat> Went ahead and used, still using the three-quarter inch and made a little kind of a curved front here to contrast with the angles. And what I'll end up doing is cutting this piece down, gluing it up to the side of the drawer, and this will act as my runner for these side wings on the shelving unit. All right, as you can tell, I've decided to eliminate the curve and I've went with a continue with this angled theme. Got the drawer glued up, got the runners on there. I'll show you a detail of the runners, how I went about doing this. Simply found a piece of scrap, two by four, cleaned up one of the edges, measured up one inch, one inch this way, and ripped it at a 45 degree angle along this this line here. So the piece I ripped was about 22 inches long and needed 18 so that worked out well just using that same piece and cut it down. I've glued them up, glued the whole drawer up still need some stain and wax on that. Working pretty well. So I'll come back and show you all the finished product. Okay project complete. Let me put this unit together for you. There you have it, the X-Wing shelving unit, strength test to follow.